I picked up a Steam Deck a couple months back when it came on sale for like 319 bucks. And since then, I have genuinely been glued to this thing, whether I'm winding down in bed, taking a quick break from editing, or even nuking my toilet. I've been taking my Steam Deck with me everywhere, absolutely demolishing my backlog of Steam games like Fallout 4, Skyrim, Outer Worlds, and everything in between. And then the thought hit me. I wonder if I can play PC VR games on this thing. I mean, after all, the Steam Deck is technically a portable PC that you can actually use to browse the internet and even download Windows on. So why wouldn't I be able to play VR games on it? The Steam Deck runs using Steam OS, which is a really good operating system other than the fact that it is fucking Linux based. This means you can't use the golden standard of VR streaming applications, virtual desktop. And Windows on the Steam Deck is absolute trash, so that's not even an option here. This means we are going to need to get creative and find a Linux supported VR streaming service that lets you stream your VR games using Steam VR from your Steam Deck to your Quest 3. And I mean, what are the odds of there being a completely free VR streaming software built specifically for Linux? Holy fuck. Thank you, Jesus, because there is, boys. Wait, what? Something like that actually exists? It's called ALVR. It's free, works on your Steam Deck and Quest 3, and somehow there is even a free ALVR streamer app on the Quest 3 store specifically made for this application. Looks like we're officially in business, baby. First, you need to start up your Steam Deck, head over to the power section of settings, and swap over to desktop mode. Once you're in desktop mode, go into your browser, type in ROS, I mean ALVR GitHub, select the install guide, scroll down until you see downloads, and click it. Then scroll down some more until you see a little zip file called ALVR Streamer Linux Tar GZ. Click on it to start downloading. Now, jump into Blender and begin modeling your custom Steam Deck dock. Make sure not to fuck this up. You only have one shot at this. Once you're done with that, export it to a 3D printing program of your choice, then play your Steam Deck for the next 20 hours while you wait for it to print, bam, now that it's done, rip that baby off of the build plate, place your Steam Deck onto it, and then head back into the location that you downloaded that ALVR streamer file. Unzip it, then go into the ALVR streamer folder, then into the bin folder, and now you can finally launch ALVR on your Steam Deck. Don't forget to start up your Quest 3 2 and grab the free ALVR streaming app. You're going to need that for this to work. Now that that's all done, hop right back into Blender, and this time, spend about two hours 3D modeling a custom Steam Deck case. Once you're done there, upload your Steam Deck STL file, slice that shit up like Gordon Ramsay, and then spend the next 13 hours printing your custom case, thank God you have a Steam Deck. So those 13 hours should fly by in no time. Now that you have your case ready, you you got your you, you got your dock ready, it's time to actually test out some VR games to see just how powerful of a handheld PC the Steam Deck really is. First up, I'm gonna try my all-time favorite VR game, Into the Radius. Although it is working, holy fuck. This looks awful, dude. The Steam Deck was not built to run a VR game of this caliber. Shit, am I out of cigarettes? Look at that, boys. I hope you're seeing what I'm seeing. Oh, into the radius VR cigarettes using only a Steam Deck. This is so surprising to me. I cannot even believe that this is running on a Steam Deck. We're gonna take it nice and slow, boys. This is looking pretty nice. <laughs> Let's shoot a gun. Try out the OTS 33. Not bad. Shoot a can. Welcome, my friends, to the shooting range on a Steam Deck. When you get the guns close enough to your face, they look nice. Check out the Mosin the Jauntas, dude. Not freaking bad, eh? I'm not even going to attempt to play into the Radius 2. That would literally probably make my Steam Deck explode. Fuck. Into the radius looks like a dumpster filled with shit on fire. So we're gonna switch to a less graphically demanding game. The greatest VR game to have ever been shot in the face by the devs. I'm still pissed off that this game doesn't exist anymore, dude. It makes me sad inside, more so than usual. And that VR game is Zenith. Okay, I am currently in Zenith. This is pretty pog, I'm not gonna lie. Back when I was a stoner, when this first came out, buddy, I would get sent off to a different part of the universe and then just fly around in this game. Absolutely blitzed. I gotta say, dude, it was one of the best experiences of my young life. This is pure nostalgia. This takes me back. Circa 2020, just absolutely smashed. If you get close enough to people, you can actually kind of see them. That's nice. We need another VR open world MMO. You could probably play a decent amount of this game on the Steam Deck. This isn't 
isn't overly awful. Is it super crisp and clear? Is the game not stuttering? No, but you'll be completely fine, dude. The enemies are stupidly easy. The funniest shit is that they don't register that you're even near them until you're like a foot in front of their face. Tons of stuff in here. So it's like a VR Elden Ring that got completely abandoned. Let's see if there's anybody here, dude. Oh, the music in here slaps tits so hard. Hello! These are all NPCs. Don't be fooled. You can climb anything too, in case you didn't know. Well, my friends, Zenith VR, successfully playable on the Steam Deck. No one plays it anymore, though, so keep that in mind. Okay, all right, we're not gonna give up. We're gonna try one more VR game to see if we can get crisp, clear graphics on the Steam Deck. Uh, but first, there's a little something I wanna tell you guys about myself that maybe you didn't know. I'm a golfer, dude. I like to golf. I gotta say, all right, it's a little bit jittery because of the bitrate that I'm running this shit at right now, like 30, but holy fuck, this actually looks incredibly nice. See, I told you boys, this was the lightest VR game I could think of. Yes, this is running very, very well for a Steam Deck. Holy shit. Watch this. Golf every day. Look at that, baby. Thank you, thank you very much. I golf all the time. I'm actually shocked right now. This is majorly scratching an itch. All I do is golf. This is a nice looking map too, dude. Strain, shame, strain, rela, shame, rela, strain, rela. Nice, dude. This is so playable right now, boys. <laughs> Get shit on. Gosh, the graphics are so nice in here. This is running pretty decently. Ooh. So, can you play VR games on the Steam Deck? Yes, you can. However, it is dog shit. But maybe it won't be dog shit for much longer because according to Moore's Law, computing power doubles about every two to three years, meaning in the not too distant future, we could see a version of the Steam Deck that is so powerful that we can play games like Half-Life Alex Into the Radius 2 on maximum graphic settings, 90 FPS, without being tethered down by our massive gaming PCs. Now that shit, would be life-changing, dude. Anyways, dude, that is the end of the video. Subscribe, hit the like button. If you wanna get your greasy hands on this beautiful, supple Steam Deck dock, I'm gonna give it away to you guys for free. Click the link in the description below. You can get that STL file free of charge, just in time for Christmas. But the Steam case, that's gonna cost you a little bit extra, all right, buddy? But anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have an awesome rest of your weekend, and I will see you guys on the next one.